In the pages of the DC Universe, where heroes and villains collide, there exists a figure hidden in a chilling aura of merciless prowess. Brace yourselves for the arrival of Deathstroke. With his debut in New Teen Titans No. 2, 1980, this assassin forever carved his name into the archives of comic book history. Not just Teen Titans, but even the mighty Justice League has felt the sting of his blade. But make no mistake, Slade Wilson is more than just a mere enemy. He is, above all, a master of contract killing. Deathstroke is the epitome of an amoral soldier, ready to align himself with any employer, regardless of their cause. For the right price, he might even kill a basket of puppies. In this video, we'll talk about everything that makes Deathstroke a killing machine. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. You will call me... Deathstroke an eye for an eye. When it comes to Deathstroke's physicality, there is an unmistakable feature that captures our attention, the absence of an eye. Amidst the various iterations and reboots that we come across in the comic book landscape, the truth of Deathstroke's iconic injury remains rooted in a singular truth. It's not a battle with another superhero that claimed his eye, but rather the devastating consequences of his own failures as a protector and family man. The story goes like this. Slade Wilson, denied the opportunity to rejoin the army, opts to embrace the secret life of a mercenary, all the while keeping his dangerous vocation a secret from his wife. Yet, as fate would have it, his concealed path crosses with that of a rival mercenary known as the Jackal. The Jackal uncovers the hidden threads that bind Slade's life together, revealing the whereabouts of his vulnerable family. In an act of malicious intent, the Jackal seizes Slade's young son, Joseph, holding him hostage and blackmailing him. But Deathstroke remains steadfast against Jackal's sinister desires, showing unwavering courage and refusing to yield. He fearlessly confronts the threat, ready to face any consequences. And then, tragedy strikes. The Jackal, consumed by sadistic desires, slashes Jericho's throat, forever silencing the innocent child's voice. The weight of failure crashes upon Deathstroke's shoulders, a burden too heavy to bear. But the agony doesn't end there. After the chaos subsides, Deathstroke's wife, consumed by anger and a sense of betrayal, seeks vengeance on her own terms. A gunshot breaks the silence, aimed at putting an end to the heartless villain. Guided by her wounded soul, the bullet strikes Deathstroke's eye, leaving him disfigured and with the iconic look that we know now. Deathstroke is hot, but why? While often labeled as an enhanced human, Deathstroke's feats go far beyond the ordinary. His abilities hint at a latent mutant potential that lies within. Here's a good example. He's been seen shattering missile-proof glass and piercing a broadsword several inches deep into solid stone. This simply shows Deathstroke is definitely a few notches above normal humans. It also explains his higher body temperature. While us mere humans hover between the range of 97 to 99 degrees Fahrenheit, Slade Wilson blazes with his internal temperature, soaring at a scorching 110 degrees. This fiery core is not an anomaly, but a result of his metahuman enhancements and remarkable healing factor. It is this very high body temperature that manifests as a superpower, giving Deathstroke a range of surprising advantages. In cold environments, his elevated heat keeps him warm, warding off the chill that would cripple lesser beings. Conversely, when faced with blistering heat, his body's ability to regulate and curtail overheating becomes an asset allowing him to endure the most extreme conditions. But that's not all. Deathstroke's internal inferno serves as a shield against illnesses and parasites, thus granting him the freedom to undertake contracts in virtually any environment in the world. Deathstroke, a brainiac, truth or myth? Let's be real. If Deathstroke tapped into the other 90% of his brain, he'd practically be Charles Xavier, the mighty telepath himself. Let's set the record straight in the post-rebirth era and not fixate on percentages anymore. We're simply saying that this guy is really, really smart. Genius level, if you will. In fact, dare I say it, Deathstroke can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the legendary Batman when it comes to strategic planning. The man's intellect is deadlier than the sharpest sword. He outthinks, outstrategizes, and leaves his adversaries in awe. Deathstroke's mind is a well-honed weapon, finely tuned to observe, analyze, and deduce. He's an expert detective, a keen observer of the human psyche, and he juggles multiple complex scenarios with ease. The 
man has several balls in the air at any given time, and he knows precisely how to manipulate each one. Now, you might wonder, how on earth did Deathstroke become such a brainiac? Well, it all began when he willingly volunteered for the Enhanced Soldier Initiative. Through this daring experiment, his metagene was awakened from its slumber, triggering a remarkable evolution within his brain. The result? Deathstroke's mental capacity skyrocketed, operating at a level nine times beyond that of an average individual. Deathstroke's evolved mind grants him an unparalleled connection to his own brain functions on a cellular level. It's like he's tapped into a wellspring of cognitive prowess that amplifies his physical attributes. You see, his intelligence isn't limited to strategy and planning alone. It permeates every aspect of his being, elevating him to extraordinary levels of perception, calculation, and adaptability. Toxin resistance, yay or nay? It's true, fellas, that Deathstroke's regenerative factor gives him an enhanced immunity to toxins. When faced with the perils of a dangerous, paralyzing substance, the effects on Slade Wilson are not as swift and devastating as one might expect. Instead of succumbing instantly to paralysis, his superhuman composition allows him to resist the toxin's full potency. You see, the paralyzing toxin, though effective, only manages to slow down Deathstroke from his lofty superhuman levels. It dampens his capabilities, bringing him down to the level of an average human being, albeit temporarily. He can feel slight shifts in the air. You see, Slade's hormonal treatment gifted him with a range of enhanced senses, agility, and lightning-fast reflexes. Unlike your typical brute force approach, Deathstroke relies on speed technique, and strategic diversions to achieve his objectives. It is through this finesse that he maneuvers through the deadliest of situations, leaving his adversaries in awe. Let's talk about something more interesting. Deathstroke's acute senses elevate him beyond the ordinary. His perception extends to the finest details, enabling him to detect even the slightest shifts in the air. Yes, you heard it right. Slight shifts that would elude the senses of a mere mortal. His heightened awareness makes it virtually impossible for anyone to sneak up on him. His senses allow him to dodge small bullets with ease, anticipate the movements of his opponents, and adapt to his surroundings in an instant. Deathstroke's heightened senses have proven their mettle even in the face of temporary blindness. Using his sharp senses and instincts, he effortlessly moved and battled his way, relying on his keen perception to navigate the dangerous terrain. Can he reproduce? Slade Wilson, aka Deathstroke, had a meandering journey when it came to fatherhood. His union with Adeline, his first wife, was riddled with strife and discord. Their sons, Grand and Joseph, faced a rough childhood, unable to form the close bond one would hope for. Despite the challenges, Slade and Adeline managed to hold it together just enough to raise their boys into adolescence, navigating the complexities of parenting as best they could. But life had more surprises in store for Deathstroke. His marriage with Adeline soon ended, and he entered a relationship with Lily Worth. Although they never tied the knot, a strong bond developed between them. Lily eventually had a daughter, Rose, whom she kept hidden from Slade. Rose lived her early years in New York, receiving private education and training from her mother, unaware of her true parentage and protected from the outside world. However, Destiny has a knack for revealing hidden truths. When a hired killer started targeting people linked to Deathstroke, Rose's lineage was forcefully exposed. Does he have a healing ability? While Slade's healing factor may not rival the likes of Deadpool or Wolverine, it is undeniably an incredible ability in its own right. Deathstroke has repeatedly defied the odds, bouncing back from wounds that would have been proven fatal to us humans. Slade's rapid healing kicks into gear, clotting blood within seconds and sealing wounds in a matter of minutes. The timeline for complete healing varies, depending on the severity of the injury ranging from seconds for minor wounds to hours for more significant trauma. In fact, it has been stated that Deathstroke's healing abilities are potent enough to repair the damage caused by breaking every bone in his body within a matter of hours. Now that is an astonishing feat of regeneration. It is this incredible healing factor that allows Deathstroke to survive wounds that would otherwise be fatal, such as impalement by a sword. It grants him the resilience to recover from devastating injuries, like third-degree burns covering almost his entire body, even a 100-foot fall a hazard that would crush the average person, can be overcome through Slade's remarkable healing capabilities. Can he survive decapitation? As mentioned earlier, Deathstroke possesses regenerative healing factor. However, it cannot restore his missing eye or regenerate entire limbs, indicating that there are certain boundaries to his regenerative capabilities. These limitations suggest that there are injuries beyond the reach of his remarkable healing powers. His healing factor can also allow him to develop a higher pain tolerance over time, potentially mitigating the effects of torture or extreme punishment. While this adaptation may enable him to endure and persevere, 
it does not render him completely impervious to pain or immune to its consequences. He may adapt to the discomfort, but the physical damage inflicted upon him would still take its toll. As for the central question at hand, the hope of Deathstroke healing from decapitation is highly improbable, if not impossible. Being beheaded is the ultimate act of severing the connection between body and head, leading to instant and irreversible death. Despite Deathstroke's exceptional physical attributes and regenerative abilities, this is a threshold that even he cannot surpass. However, it is important to remember that the likelihood of Deathstroke actually facing decapitation is incredibly low. He is renowned as one of the most skilled characters in the DC Universe, possessing remarkable strength, durability, and tactical expertise. With his heightened senses, unmatched combat skill, and a range of advanced weaponry, Deathstroke is one tough cookie to deal with. Is he the fastest assassin? Deathstroke's exceptional speed is indeed one of his remarkable abilities that sets him apart from ordinary assassins. His agility and reflexes are honed to a level that surpasses the peak of human potential. Slade Wilson's speed enables him to perform extraordinary feats. He can effortlessly outpace moving vehicles, showcasing his ability to traverse great distances in a short amount of time. Notably, Deathstroke has demonstrated his skill in engaging speedsters, matching their velocity in combat. In fact, he has proven himself capable of keeping up against speedsters like The Flash. The extent of Deathstroke's speed is further highlighted by instances where other characters, such as Hector Hammond and Wally West, also known as The Flash, acknowledge his impressive swiftness. Hammond's exploration of Slade's mind revealed that he possesses the agility and quickness to eliminate even the renowned Reverse Flash. This insight speaks volumes about Deathstroke's speed and its recognition among both allies and adversaries. With his heightened speed, Deathstroke possesses a tactical advantage in battles and can swiftly maneuver around opponents, evading attacks and launching his own precise strikes. This enhanced speed allows him to maintain an edge in combat and seize opportunities that might otherwise elude ordinary fighters. Does he know time travel? While Deathstroke's journey through time has been explored in certain storylines, it is important to note that his ability to time travel is not a standard part of his power set. The instance involving Deathstroke's attempt to alter the past was a unique occurrence tied to a specific storyline within DC's Rebirth. In this particular storyline, Deathstroke was driven by the grief of losing his son Grant. After discovering forgotten memories and seeking answers from the Flash, Wally West, Deathstroke made a desperate decision to change the past and prevent Grant's death. Utilizing Kid Flash's speed, Deathstroke embarked on multiple attempts to rewrite history and save his son. However, despite his efforts and mastery over time, Deathstroke was unable to alter the course of events and Grant's tragic fate remained unchanged. This emphasizes that even with his skills and access to time travel, Deathstroke was ultimately unable to escape the inherent tragedy. It is essential to understand that this specific storyline is not representative of Deathstroke's standard abilities. Instead, Deathstroke is known for his tactical expertise unmatched combat skill and unbeatable will which have made him one of the most enduring and complex characters in the DC Universe. Can he return from the dead? While he cannot survive a lethal brain injury, there have been instances where he has come back to life under specific circumstances. One such occurrence involved Deathstroke's healing ability going into overdrive after his demise. In this situation, his immune system was triggered by an infection, enabling him to return to life after being shot in the head. However, it's important to note that these instances of resurrection are often connected to specific conditions. In the comic series Shadow Wars No. 1, 2022, Deathstroke finds himself framed for the murder of Ra's al Ghul. Talia al Ghul, surviving her wounds, calls upon the League of Shadows to hunt down Deathstroke and anyone associated with him. Eventually, Talia herself delivers the fatal blow, ending Deathstroke's life. Subsequently, Deathstroke's body is taken by the secret society of supervillains and subjected to resurrection using the Lazarus Pits. Upon his resurrection, Deathstroke emerges as a more sinister version of himself, reflecting the transformative nature of the Lazarus Pits. While these storylines present instances of Deathstroke's return from death, it's important to consider that resurrection through external means can vary and be subject to debate within the comic book lore. Is he immortal? In the ongoing series Deathstroke Inc., Slade Wilson's origin story and the limits of his abilities are being explored and updated. In a recent issue, Slade seemingly meets his demise by falling to his death. However, Deathstroke Inc. No. 13, 2021 reveals a shocking twist as Slade wakes up during an autopsy, defying death itself. This development takes Deathstroke's healing factor to a whole new level. While his regenerative abilities were already impressive compared to others with similar powers, this latest revelation catapults him into a realm of immortality. It has significant implications, not only for Deathstroke's own story, 
but also for the entire DC universe. Having already been a threat to numerous heroes over the decades, Deathstroke now possesses enhanced senses, advanced healing, and the ability to return from death itself. This makes him practically unbeatable and elevates his status from a tough nut to crack to an immortal nut to crack. It is worth noting that Deathstroke's immortality and invincibility are specific to his updated origin story in the Deathstroke Inc. series. It's over, Slade. How can someone defeat Deathstroke? Deathstroke possesses a range of impressive abilities that make him seem nearly unstoppable. However, despite his remarkable powers, there are strategies that could potentially defeat him. One possible method involves targeting and completely destroying a vital organ, such as his heart or brain. As demonstrated by the fact that his missing eye never grew back, it appears that if an organ is completely destroyed, Deathstroke's healing factor cannot restore it. Without a vital organ to sustain his life, he would be rendered unable to heal or survive. However, Deathstroke's adversaries must consider the difficulty of successfully targeting a vital organ during combat. His agility, speed, and heightened senses allow him to evade and defend against attacks, while his tactical expertise enables him to exploit any weaknesses in his opponents. Has Slade ever been defeated? Deathstroke, despite his abilities, has faced defeat at the hands of various heroes in the DC Universe. While he possesses enhanced healing and combat skills, there are instances where he has been outmatched or outmaneuvered by his opponents. In the New 52 series 2011, Deathstroke engaged in a fierce battle with Superman. Although he put up an impressive fight and managed to keep up with the Man of Steel for a time, he ultimately succumbed to Superman's superior power and was defeated. Slade has also crossed paths with Wonder Woman multiple times and in each encounter, he has been unable to take her down. Wonder Woman's exceptional strength and Amazonian training give her the upper hand against the mercenary, resulting in his defeat in their battles. The clash between Deathstroke and Hawkman showcases two highly skilled combatants. Hawkman's extensive experience in battle gives him an edge, but Deathstroke's enhanced brain power and physical prowess make the fights between them intense and evenly matched. When facing the Teen Titans, he has encountered opponents including Tim Drake. Robin. Tim's own strategic thinking and agility have played a crucial role in defeating Deathstroke on several occasions, sparking a long-standing rivalry between them. Other heroes who have proven their ability to defeat the assassin include Black Canary, known for her exceptional fighting skills, and Canary Cry, and Cassandra Kane, a member of the Bat family who possesses incredible combat abilities and has emerged victorious against Deathstroke in their confrontations. Damian Wayne, Robin, Nightwing, Green Arrow, and Red Hood have also had their share of battles with him, with each of them achieving victories over the mercenary. Marvelous Verdict In conclusion, Deathstroke's physiology is a remarkable display of enhanced attributes and resilience. His physical abilities surpass those of ordinary humans, encompassing strength, speed, and super healing. His extraordinary physicality and combat skills make him a worthy opponent to the greatest heroes out there. Understanding the intricacies of Deathstroke's anatomy highlights the challenges involved in defeating him and the need for unique strategies to overcome his seemingly unstoppable nature. We can't wait for DC to utilize his newfound abilities and near immortality against the best Cape Crusaders. And when they do, we'll be sure to take you through it. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone. Yeah. <laughs>